how'd you sleep? <laughs> Better have been good. Because it looks like you've been staring at me for a while. And while I don't normally mind, I would prefer if you stared at me while I was awake so I could do something about it rather than, you know, being a fucking creep. Because that's not cool, you know? What are you talking about? Your mind's all fucking messed up, I guess. Yeah, you're making no sense, but regardless, just try not to try not to stare at me while I'm asleep or do anything to me while I'm asleep. Not that I would know if you did your job correctly and I stayed asleep, but that's not the point. The point is that, you know, if you're doing anything to me, I'd rather be awake for it. Unless you're causing harm, then just don't do that, period. Like, but if you're gonna, like, ride me or something, do that while I'm awake, please. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what are you talking about? We've been dorm mates for, like, four months now. I can't believe you're still surprised at the kind of language I use. <laughs> don't be a fucking prude, okay? You and I both agreed to getting our little tokens, our, our points, or whatever you want to call them, when we need to, you know, relieve ourselves with each other. So, is it really so far-fetched for me to talk about it so brazenly, you know, you know what I mean? I feel like you do what I, what I mean, and you're just playing stupid. Which, I don't know why you do that, but whatever. You do you, I guess. Look, either way... Sorry, um... What was I talking about? Right. Yeah, I'm just... Has your... Sleeping... Outfit always been that tight? I, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I guess I just notice it now, but you really do have a lot of curves. And you're showing it off in your pajamas. Which, I mean, honestly, thanks for that. I don't mind at all, but why, you know? I mean, why don't you just wear some, like, revealing clothes or something? You don't. You don't want me feeling you up while you're asleep, which I may or may not do, um, at an undisclosed point in time. Anyways, uh, what, what was I saying? When it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so, why do you wear that, like, that outfit to go to sleep, especially? Like, what's the, what's the purpose behind it? Oh, come on, don't take me for a fool. If you were really doing it for comfort, it wouldn't be that tight. Trust me, I've worn tight clothes before, and that shit is not comfortable, especially when you're going to sleep. It rides up, and it, you know, kind of rumbles, and it's not pleasant. You're not doing that for comfort. You're doing it for attention. I mean, par for the course for you, but... Why? What? Nobody's gonna see it but me. Unless that's what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I applaud your bravery. I, I expected something a little bit more subtle, but if you wanted to seduce me, uh, congratulations. You have succeeded. Consider me seduced. That being said, I don't know if you can handle what comes next. You, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if you're quite ready for it, but honestly, that's half the fun, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean, those spur-of-the-moment, heated, little sessions of ours. 
know that we've only had one or two by now, but it feels better and better every time. Now get over here already. My bed's feeling a little lonely, and I'd appreciate some company. <sighs> Come on, faster, please. I'm being really nice here. There you go, just like that. You're good at following orders. I like that. <laughs> All right. Now, um, sorry, there's, there's actually not a whole lot of room for even just me, so you're going to have to sit on my lap. How does that sound? Bad? Wonderful. Just do it. There you go. Up and over. Mm. Oh, man. I just got the shivers. I mean, can you blame me? A perfectly attractive person with a revealing uh, outfit, we'll say is straddling me right now and I just woke up so naturally I'm a little bit uh, stiff if you know what I mean I'm sure you can feel it mm -hmm. honestly it kind of hurts yeah we'll have to take care of that in a second but for now I just want to touch you if that's okay I know, I'm such a gentleman, I'm asking for consent this time. Now please do me a favor and don't let me regret it. If you could just unbutton your shirt, that'd be great. Okay, or you're just not going to move at all. Do you want me to do it? You're not a fucking child, you can do it yourself. But I suppose just this once I'll do it for you. Since you so kindly, since you so kindly did not say anything and just are waiting for me to make a move. I'm like a bitch, but whatever. <sighs> there. I'm doing it for you. How does that feel? Does it feel good? Does it feel bad? Comments, questions, suggestions? <sighs> Give me something here. You can't just tape your mouth shut and refuse to say anything that's not helpful and if you're going to keep doing that then I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want it sounds like you want that but trust me it's not going to be fun <sighs> alright there we go I'm going to be honest you look even better without the shirt. I can only stand to imagine what kind of uh, wonders are down there. <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out in a second, won't we? How does that feel? Do you mind if I touch your stomach? Okay. And then, if I begin sliding my hands up, slowly, carefully, how does that feel? And now what if I cup your chest like this? How does that feel? Good. That's good. At least you're finally saying something. Okay. Now. How does it feel? If I slide my hand. Against your neck. Just ever so slightly. I won't press too hard, but. How does that feel? You sound like you like it, even though you're not saying anything. And your face is bright red, so I'm going to assume that's good. Now. Do you mind if I go 
go further. I know I could technically do it if I wanted to without asking, but I want to be cool this time, so do you mind if I take your pants off? Okay, then I'm going to do that. And I guess we're just going to have to see what happens from there, won't we?